In a small chapel called Stabat Mater, hidden in the depths of Queens, people from every walk of life gather to pray to Santa Muerte. Among the devoted, police officer John Quentin Meluso notices a young woman named Dolores, whispering her grief for her son Miguel, taken from her in a brutal killing when he was only four years old. The story intersects with Justin Lee Marvin too, a deeply troubled young man obsessed with taxi driver who lives with his mother and her boyfriend. One evening, after a heated argument, Justin snaps, stabbing his stepfather in a fury and shooting his mother with a gun he finds at home. Driven by an insatiable thirst for violence, he then heads to Jack McMahon's gun shop, kills him, and arms himself with an arsenal. As Meluso and his partner Joaquin are out on patrol, they receive word of the murders. Meanwhile, Justin roams the streets, firing at anyone unlucky enough to cross his path. He soon encounters Dolores and attempts to assault her. Meluso intervenes, but Justin wounds him, leaving him unarmed and crippled on the ground. In the final, desperate moments as Justin closes in on Dolores, she fights back with a ferocity born of despair, biting him and mangling him. Bleeding and broken, Justin staggers, his vision blurring as he glimpses death herself standing before him, her gaze cold and unmoved, while he cries out for his mother. This dark tale weaves together urban violence, the faith in Santa Muerte, and the elusive pursuit of justice. In the end, death smiles at us all, and a man can do nothing but smile back. Curious about the psychological turmoil driving each character? Dive into the full story and uncover the twisted paths of violence, despair, and faith that bind them together. Explore how trauma and obsession blur the lines of justice in this gripping tale. Read the full story here.